We're Jess and Miles. In 2019, we quit our jobs to pursue a dream of long-term travel around the world. After traveling for six months, we were brought back to the U.S. due to COVID-19, but we are now back on the road exploring more of our own beautiful country. We spent our first three weeks hiking in Colorado and then made our way to Driggs, Idaho. We spent an awesome week exploring the Grand Tetons with one of our very best friends, but we are now back on our own and have one final hike planned in the Teton Valley. Today we're going to be hiking up to Table Mountain on the west side of the Grand Tetons. There's actually two different route options to the summit, a short and steep and then a longer and more gradual. We're going to be turning it into a loop and going up the steep and then down the gradual and it'll be a little less than 11 miles. No matter which route you take, we still have over 4,000 feet of elevation gain today. By taking the steep route up, we've got to do it in less than four miles, so this is not going to be easy. The camera never does the steepness of a trail justice, so you're just going to have to trust us that this is <laughs> very steep. <laughs> And it doesn't mess around, straight from the trailhead. We've only been hiking for about 20 minutes and we have already climbed up quite a ways. My calves are feeling it. Also, we did 16 miles yesterday in the park. <laughs> that might be why her calves are feeling it too. There was part of me that was tempted to come down this way too, but there's so much loose dirt and gravel. I think we'd be sliding down the whole way. So we're gonna stick to our plan. This is seriously no joke. <laughs> So according to all trails, we've only made it 0.7 miles. That's really tough to see. <laughs> but we've just come to this really nice overlook with a beautiful view down the valley. We still have three miles to go though. But we have already climbed over a thousand feet, so we're making progress. Also, since we were packing up to leave this morning, we got a later than usual start. So the trail is pretty busy. We probably passed a couple dozen or so groups, but it's nothing compared to the park, especially considering it's already 10 a.m. So while we've only hiked 1.3 miles, we've already covered about half of the elevation gain. So we still have about 2,000 vertical feet to go, but it shouldn't be as steep going forward. Hopefully. This part of the mountain is definitely less steep than the part before, but this trail is not messing around and this is far from flat. From what I read and from what we have seen so far, this seems like the popular way to climb this mountain. We've seen a fair amount of people heading up on this route, but nobody coming down this way, at least not yet. Since being out west and hiking during the summer, we have seen our fair share of wildflowers, but this has to top it all. The backside of this mountain is completely covered. All right, we've got about a mile and a half left and Table Mountain is officially in view. We're still hiking through all of these wildflowers and from the looks of it, we still got some climbing to do as well. We're taking a quick snack break in this nice cool breezy shade before we make our final push to the top. This is going to be a serious final push to the top. We got this. I'm tired just looking at it. earlier in the week up to Fred's Mountain, which is just behind me. It's actually at a ski resort, so we ended up taking a chairlift on the way down. I am really going to wish that was accessible when we're coming down from this hike. No chairlift on this mountain, but we are almost there. It's always a good sign when the people at the top start actually looking like people and not just like tiny ants. Also, I'm pretty sure we're gaining about a hundred plus feet every tenth of a mile at this point. So even if you took the more gradual route on the way up, you're not going to avoid this elevation gain. Last little climb to the top. We've come a long way.
we have officially made it to the top of Table Mountain and check out this view. We are so close to the Grand Tetons, I cannot believe it. I can't believe we're not even in the National Park right now. Don't get me wrong, yesterday's hike was one of our favorites, but to only drive 30 minutes from our place in Driggs, hike less than four miles, and have this view is just crazy. read about this hike when I was doing my research on Idaho and Wyoming, but then we also had some locals in Driggs recommend it as well. We've been here now for six days and have seen these mountains from many different vantage points, but I gotta be honest, I don't see how the view of the Tetons could get any better. So we hiked 3.7 miles to get up here. It took us about four hours, which is more or less what I was expecting, and now we have seven miles to go down. We don't wanna leave, but it's time. So this is where the trail splits off and as tempting as it is to go back the short way, I know our knees will thank us at the end and Miles loves a loop. So we are headed back the more gradual, longer route and we should have about five and a half miles back to the car. Jess is not wrong when I say I love a loop and this is exactly the reason why. The view that we have right now off this ridge is so much different than the view we had on the way up. Table Mountain is still in full view and we can still see the Tetons behind it. So far I'm really happy that we decided to go up the shorter route and not come up this way, especially because I don't like being able to see the end point for so much of the hike, but I'm really enjoying it going down. This may be the more gradual route, but we are really dropping quick. We made it back to the car. It took us a little under three hours on the way back. That was such an incredible hike and the perfect way to end our time in the Teton Valley. 